Welcome to V Top 10 and today's video we're counting down Chris Eubank Top 10 Knockouts. Number 10. Chris Eubank vs Ron Malik. On October 4, 1989, Eubank beat Ron Malik by TKO at 120 in round 5 of 8 at Festival Hall, Basildon, England. Well that was a good left, and that came out of Right hand! Hello, oh, now it's Chris Eubanks. They still got to be on his toes. Oh, another good right, and another, and the American once again under pressure and trying desperately to come. I could imagine that Chris Eubanks is, is the sort of fighter who could really now cause a stoppage in this fifth. I think now he's got down. his man on the hook. Is he going to let him off? The American goes down. Roy Francis has seen enough. Number 9. Chris Eubank vs Nigel Ben 1. On November 18, 1990, Eubank beat Nigel Ben by TKO at 2.56 in round 9 of 12 and one WBO middleweight title. Yeah, his recovery has been better since he was knocked over by Michael Watson. A championships. That was a good shot, that was. Drop there as well. Into the third. So this is what he should have been doing, trying to back Ben up. He should not allow Nigel Ben to come forward. He wins the... Eubank when he's got the man in trouble. This is what Eubank must be careful. As he's been earlier. He's going to have to strike himself. I think he was falling for that. That was Ben. Oh, what a shot that was. Really shipper. Opened him up with the left hand and then shot the right hand over and it connected. There's the countdown. He's shaking. The eyes wash reds. This will be the finish of the belt. It's, it's all over in the Number 8. Chris Eubank versus Camila Wallarco. On March 27, 1997. Eubank beat Camila Wallarcone by knockout in round 4 of 10 at Aviation Club Tennis Center, Dubai, UAE. Well, that's nice work now by Eubank. Good punches there catching the Colombian. No doubt about that. These are good shots and he's gone over now. So Alarcon hits the deck. And he's all over the place. And it's, oh. Well, it's all over. Referee Larry O'Connor counts him out. Number 7. Chris Eubank vs. Steve Aquilina. On May 18, 1988, Eubank beat Steve Aquilina by TKO at 2.40 in round 4 of 6 at Guildhall, Portsmouth, England. Say, now in the year of 19... Greg George. And he took Greg George out in 5... There you see Chris Eubank landing a good body shot. Now he follows with a combination. And another one. And another one. And a good left hand. Look at the fast hands of Chris starting to put the foot movement into the, into his arsenal as well. And he comes back with some combinations now. Very sturdy chin. There's a good right hand from Eubank. Oh, there's a big right. Chris Eubank. Boy, those are two cocky fellows. Oh, man, look at that left hand on the chin. Flush on the chin. Aquilina is hurt bad. Look at him struggling to get up now. He's up at nine. The rest going to look at him. No, he's in no shape to continue. They've got to stop it. Number six, Chris Eubank versus Scary Stretch. On April 18, 1991, defending WBO middleweight title Eubank beat Gary Stretch by TKO at 156 in round six of 12 at Olympia Grand Hall, London, England. As he did again, I'll say once again with Ben. British title. I think he had a broken nose. Then he has to duck and dive. Oh, Jim, I said it to you before. I'm fine thing to do and it's cost him dearly yeah, that's a shot that's really shaking stretch that's the punch stretch wants to get his hands up and he wants to touch down that's what he wants to do he is still stunned Reg yep. yep he's done him all right he's done nothing or virtually nothing until this round and now he's made it pay you bank second count three knockdowns Jim no he stopped it without waiting for the third knockdown number five Chris Eubank vs. Reginaldo dos Santos. 
On September 22, 1990, Chris Eubank beat Reginaldo dos Santos by knockout at 0-20 in round 1 of 10 at Royal Albert Hall, London, England. Number 4. Chris Eubank vs. Gene Noel Camara. On October 24, 1989, Chris Eubank beat Gene Noel Camara by TKO in round 2 of 8 at York Hall, London, England. Well, he wanted to move his leg straight and down he went at a heat. Oh, Kamara looking very groggy. Signaling enough. It's all over. The corner is waving enough. Only the referee can stop a fight in a British ring. And he's... Kamara looking so apprehensive. Oh! And he right out. He won't right out. One. If he gets up, I don't think Dave Paris will let it go on. No, he doesn't. Number three. Chris Eubank vs. Luis Dionisio Barrera. On October 19, 1996, Chris Eubank beat Luis Dionisio Barrera by knockout at 0 42 in round 5 of 10 at Stadium Indoor Halls Complex, Cairo, Egypt. So here we are. Barrera, a man who's lost his last four and had his South American title. He does half, by the way. So Eubank then trying to, he wants to get this one over with, I've got a feeling. We're in round five, but he's gone down there for a body punch, it didn't look that much. In fact, it looked like it missed. Well, he's not going to beat the count, is he? Until it Number two, Chris Eubank versus Johnny Melfa. On November 5th, 1989, Chris Eubank beat Johnny Melfa by knockout in round 4 of 8 at Royal Albert Hall, London, England. But you've got to say... But he's been clipped by a right, and he must realise now if he does get careless and hangs his chin out, he could pay very dearly. As Melfa can Bank's dignity, clearly stung by those rights. He's got him with the right hand, and he's down! And Melfa is going to struggle to beat this count. He's counted out. Number 1. Chris Eubank versus John Jorvis. On April 25, 1992, defending WBO Super Middleweight title Chris Eubank beat John Jarvis by knockout at 150 in round 3 of 12 at GMX Center, Manchester, England. There's a good deal on television. Sugar Boy Malinga. Yeah. Good, oh, right. good right hand. Uh, he's certainly more vicious. I have to consider that fairly young. Good right left combo. Eubank not jab. Feeling that Eubank is just waiting. No! Oh, right 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 oh, that is the fight over. What a finish on. Oh, my God almighty. That was a sick part. You can count a hundred over him. Oh, what a right hand. That's it! Thank you for watching. Please like. Comment and subscribe.